Right, we're having a bit of a look around down the forest to run high resolution, or not resolution, um, times four. So, let's see what, what's down here. Bears having a little look. It's always a bit shaky when it's on this, but why I've got it on uh, this is I'm gonna have a look right down there. You can see between the trees. We'll go a bit further round. There's a water down there. See the stream running? This big slope here. Great. I don't like to try and climb down there. This is the old pipe from the uh, the water system. We'll zoom back it back out into normal resolution now. See, it's a bit more steady now. See you there. Right, Look at that tree. Why has it been locked off like that? It's mad. It's doing no harm, but marked up with a P so and this one here as well that's P4 and the block the top off that don't know what good that's done and this is the bridge this is part of the old railway now for some reason this section's fenced off Now it's not to trespass on the railway, but I've been down here when these gates are open and uh, the camera through, and it's a lovely trail, but it's just not accessible for, for walking. Now, I'd have closed it off nearer to where it gets to the lines, but anyway, I'm going to make a nice little path. What do you think, Bear? You'd like to go down there, wouldn't you? Yeah. All right, well, we're just going to go along this path till we get to the road. Then we're going to veer off. Veer off to the right. Look at this tree here. These two trees. See, the, the top's gone off these. They must have been overhanging over the road but I wonder if there's any kind of history to these trees why the great big thick stumpy trees and locked off like uh, somebody once referred to these as the hanging trees I don't know if that's true I don't know if they, anybody ever get hung off them but yeah I put this lovely little bench here now and somebody's put a nice little tree just to make it pretty. That's probably a neighbour who just uh, just thought of it because they're a spare tree. So, right, well, oops, keep out of the poo bear. Poo bear. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we have our doggy bags, but people with horses don't have a bucket and shovel, do they? So, right, this is the road. I've shown down here before, but we're going to go down this steep hill. Come on, come on, bear. Down the steep hill, you first. Come on. Come on, off you go. Down the steep hill. Not slip. Come on. Oh, the branches. Nip under the branches. Come on. Going down the path. They've got a nice little um, garden area. You can see a picnic area. I don't know if I can uh, extend. No, no, I didn't. No, I thought this handheld device extended, but it doesn't. But let's have a quick nosy. We're not, we're not going to go up here, but we'll just have a quick look in this area here. What? barbecue area. 
so that's nice, isn't it? Anyway, back down here, bear. Back down here. Yeah. No, we're going back. We're going downhill. We're going downhill. Come on. Come on. This is the back end of uh, these various garden areas. Um, that's the back side of somebody's little outhouse. There's a nice wall there. Sorry, I'm watching my footstep as I'm walking, so that's probably... Right. And here are all the birds singing. The cobbly path. When it's raining, this is a bit treacherous and you don't come down here. But at the moment, it's been fairly dry weather. Bears sniffing. Come on. Hello, do you want to be on it? Yeah. Yeah, come on. These stones. Weird, this. It's like as though it was a path, but it's not a path. There's rocks all sticking out. As though it was perhaps a path or whatever it was. Or some. And you got the. You got the, the old grid there. And you've got right down in the bottom again. Right down the bottom there. It'd be good to get down there, but look how overgrown it is. Now, come along this, uh, we're reaching the bottom of the path now. Well, we've been through that tunnel before, but, and there she is, off she goes. You waiting for me? Or do I have to go first? We've got the, the old Victoria drain, Victorian drain, because the water comes through the drains and then drains into the stream down below. So, bears walking behind me. He's not being on it today. He's not being on it today. No. No, you wait you're waiting for me to go first, aren't you? Yeah. Can you hear all the birds singing? Never see them, you can just hear them somewhere. Yeah, can you hear them all singing? river down there again. As you can see. Back to normal. Normal resolution. I keep saying resolution, what's the word? Well, it's four times, but it's zoom, zoom, zoom resolution, maybe. Resolutions, how bright or how clear it is. Don't mean that. With that, can you hear it squawk? It's squawking somewhere. corner, around the corner in a minute, this is all, and again it's like brickwork down the middle, as though it's uh, been some sort of trail probably where the workers used to come down to get, there used to be a mill at the bottom or something I think, and the trees over there. What's that bird making its squawking noise? 
No, no, can't see them. Oh, look, there's one bird, there's a robin there. Robin. Hello, Robin. Oh, he's gone. They seem to associate robins with Christmas. Because they go somewhere which is probably colder than here. But they seem to come here more at Christmas. But they, they are all year round. <laughs> right. Coming up to the top of this path now. You can still hear the birds. Listen to that. Can you hear that? I hope it's coming on to uh, through the mic on the on the camera. Really hear the birds singing, can't you? Look at this little garden. Just trying to see if you can see or hear any more birds. Right, I'm just going to go past these cottages, these are thistly fields, probably named after that little thistly area we've just come down. Look at this house, this house on the end, it's different to all the rest isn't it? I don't think it's must be selling up. But what's this this little cottage? Another bird singing. But I like that house. I like the brick house on the end of the uh, the stone house on the end of the brick house br the row of brick houses and we've got the stone house. And it's really nice. Yeah. No other selling. Nice little house. Right, let's go up to the top. Come on, we'll march on. Come on, march on ahead. March on ahead. These trees here. I'm talking to the man who owns the house that's behind these trees couple of days ago and some idiot neighbour or some do-gooder had, phoned, had informed the council that his trees were overhanging. So the poor man, getting on a bit as well, had to uh, lop all this lot off. Got his ladders out from the other side and had to do this because... Look, you know, it's his own little house, a private garden. You know, it's a private house, it's not a council house. So they made him lop all that off. I don't know why they did that. You know, it's so it's, it's harming the neighbourhood. Otherwise, they wouldn't get the council and charge him. But why would you do that? Some people just can't mind their own business. Right. This is a little cut back up to uh, to the path, which gets us on our way our way home. Just show something at the top before we finish. 
No, it's not this bit. Never quite got what this bit is for. It's some sort of old railway left over from the railway days. This is where everybody dumps all the logs and stuff. But, right. One last thing I was going to show you. That wasn't it, that little railway thing. Yeah. I noticed this the other day. Look. These are apples. I've got an apple tree. It's full of them. You know, there's apples. Full of them. Yeah. Right. Last thing, we're going to go up. Go past the lady with some dogs. The bears frighten the dogs. We'll see what happens. We'll just say hello. Come on. These doggies. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what are they called? Uh, this is Dickens. This is Molly. Dickens and Molly. Yeah. Hello, Molly. <laughs> Hello, Dickens. What the Dickens you call that for? <laughs> <laughs> Charles Dickens. Yeah, that's who he's named after. Yeah. Famous author. Yeah. Oh, what Bear. No, she's called Bear. Oh. A strange name, but uh, that's the name she came with. Yeah, she came with the name Molly. She's only been with us three months. <laughs> <laughs> Molly and Dickens. Yeah. You're a waggy waggy, aren't you? He is. Yeah. Yeah. Aren't you, yeah. <laughs> what do you think about Dickens? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll let you get on. See you. Nice to see you. So there we are. Molly and Dickens. As I was saying about the apple trees, right here, if you're into making wine or anything, you've got blackberry bushes. Now they're not out yet, but tons of them. Uh, see if there's any shooting yet, but no, no, it's more like uh, September, isn't it? So probably by the time the apples are. Uh, are ripe. You'll be able to tell blackberry and apple can make jams, wine, whatever. But right, so we make Molly and Dickens, and with that we're going to say, what the Dickens, and goodbye. See ya.